my name is Lydia Lüchel and I'm 20 years old and I'm from Liechtenstein, from Farbwinkel and Farbwinkel in Liechtenstein. Since I was six, I'm a crowd scout and at the moment I'm the main leader of my local group. I'm a leader for young scouts, I'm leading camps and I'm also a member of the international team. Last summer I did my matura and now I'm doing a gap year in a school with disabled children and in September I will study for professional therapy. So yeah, because I come from the surrounding area, it's not the case like almost everyone that I love the mountains here. I have to say the mountains in Liechtenstein are much more impressive and fit. <laughs> <laughs> and I also have to say it's very special for me to speak English in Switzerland. And so I would apologize for my English. If you don't understand something, just ask. And normally I speak a type of Swiss dialect. So yeah, about my story. It started in September 2022. And before that I wanted to be a KISC staff for my gap year. Unfortunately, this was not possible because of COVID. And then in September 2022 there were two pinkies couch surfing and they did the Liechtenstein train. It's a train through whole Liechtenstein. You can do it in five days. And they were searching for a place to sleep and then they were at my house. And then we talked about the International Rural Week and I was hooked right away and I applied, I got selected and this is how my journey began. Yeah, to be a participant at the International Rural Week, I will never forget it. It was so magical and I learned so much about scouting, like the scouting rules and the that they exist, what they stand for, and I was kind of shocked that we don't use them in my community and it made me feel to change it. And with all the books, the training and the empowerment, I felt so motivated to make a change, especially to show others what I learned here. And also, I made my worldwide family and one of them is today here, Leonor. I'm so happy to see each other again and some of them I will see this year in Korea. And to be a participant at the International Rural Week, it had a massive impact on my scout and on my personal life. And I had the best New Year's Eve of my life. And knowing that it's not always easy to start a project, I thought I would start with something simple and crazy, as it now is. So I started with my Action 1 and 2. Action 1 is a advocacy coordination meeting with my key NSO stakeholders to advocate for the inclusion for SDGs for the new mission, vision and strategy. And additionally, I also convinced the National Board and the National Assembly of Scouting in Liechtenstein to work more actively with the SDGs during the recent strategy projects in my member organization. And Action 2 is the, the report. I think the Knota is... So, uh, yes, I write reports for that, for like I, about the International Rover Week and about the story that the Couchsurfing, Juan and Elias are in Liechtenstein, and it goes on and on. So, yeah, also write projects for Scouts for SDGs because Liechtenstein has none. And I hope that we open it now because I wrote it and it's not possible at the moment. So, yeah, challenges. Um, I didn't know how to get started and what to do exactly and I also thought that my project was nothing and it was ridiculous when I saw what others were doing. But through the invitation from the KISC to the KISC Impact, I understood that it's not like that at all. I started something and I created something and I'm still working on it and it's getting better and better. And I would like to say thank you so much for this invitation. You have opened up the world for me and you give me the world. And this is the beginning of my journey and I'm learning and motivating myself. And I don't know how to effectively share knowledge with others. And it was like a learning in progress. So I started to tell my friends about the SDGs and it came out that I did actions free. 
Action 3 was um, a session in the ABW, it's the leadership trainingship, and we had it this, in this April at KISS. It was so magical for me to be here again, and the best thing was, I had a session about my project with a motivated friend, what I learned at KISS, at our national training week. And we motivated so many other uh, scouts to include the SDGs in the local scout activities. And my ses session was just a small thing, becoming aware of the little things, but it had a big impact on them. And here you can see a statement from our, one of our local uh, scout leaders. It is, <laughs> it is important to act now to reduce the consequences of man-made climate change and everyone can contribute to this offer. Through this week training I became a Lagerleiter and now I'm allowed to lead camps in Switzerland and in this summer I'm planning a SDG summer camp with my local group and that's my action for and leading my first own summer camp in my local group and I want to build every activities up on the SDGs and building knowledge about the SDGs. And through this activity, the children, the leader and as well the kitchen team get to know the SDGs. And the leader and as well the children get to know them, to deal with them and to link them with other things. And this is how I kid two birds with one stone. And I hope that the children will tell about the activities upon the SDGs at home that I will reach even more people. Yes, to the goals. And of course, I want to motivate more people to be active citizens, to show them how easy it is to live with the SDGs and to run to activities. Because sometimes SDGs can be hard to understand. So it is important to address the simplification and activities. Ultimately, so we can all live more sustainably. And I'm not looking for an end to my project. I have started it and I should go on and on from now on. And that's what I actually want. And to the outcomes, I motivated scouts to use them. I showed them to explain easily sustainable activities with the background how to link them with activities and more people know about the SDGs and hopefully you will see them now in Liechtenstein. And here are also some statements what and some leaders said about my little session here at Kantersteg. Thank you.